first color I'm going to take is Anastasia CNN. I'm just going to run that into my crease with the Sigma E40 blending brush. And I did apply my base, the Sigma Eyeshadow Base in Persuade before this. You can do any color you want here, maybe like a pink, but if you watch my channel, you know I like to kind of make them as wearable as possible. And then I'm going to take this new Marc Jacobs Matte Eyeliner Pencil in the color Mist Me, and I'm going to kind of use that to kind of cut my crease and map out where I want it, and then also as a base color all over my lid. These are super creamy and very pigmented. I love them. Then I'm going to take this color by Inglot. I don't know the number, but it will be listed in the description box below. And that's going to be my first lid color. So I'm going to go over the first half of my eyelid. And then I'm going to take this color by Motives. I also don't know the color of this, but I promise it will be listed in the description box. And I'm going to use that for the second half of my eyelid. This color is so pretty. And then I'm going to take this double-ended eyeliner from Tarte and first I'm going to use the liquid side and then I'm going to use the glitter side. And I'm going very, very lightly with the tip of the brush and I'm running that across the cut crease. You know, I've seen this a lot of, on Instagram and I'm like, this is so easy, no wonder why everybody's doing it because you really don't have to be like clean or like a clean sharp line. But then after doing it, I was like, oh my god, this is kind of hard because the line, I didn't want it thick at all. I just feel like the thicker it looks, the more messier it looks, I guess. I don't know, I'm just, I'm picky that way and kind of like a perfectionist. But once you get to the glitter part, because glitter is kind of chunky, um, it gets kind of hard. But with this brush, it makes it a little bit easier to do. You once destroyed a broken heart that was already shattered. And then after with the small angled liner from Sigma, I kind of just dusted off any glitter that was where I didn't want it to be. And then I took this ColourPop. Um, it's like a white frosted color in the inner corner. It's really not that pigmented, so I had to go over it multiple times. And then for liner, I used the Tarte liner, which is one of my favorites. It's super black and also dries matte. And I used a Sigma E11, which is my favorite eyeliner brush to do it. And then for my waterline, I took another Marc Jacobs eyeliner, and this one is a color in the color Grapevine, which is just a, basically a matte purple shade. They're so pigmented. And then for my lower lash line, I just took a little bit of black shadow and ran that along as close to the lash line as possible. And then I took the first color I used and kind of blended that out. So to warm up the rest of my face, I'm using Benefits Do The Hula Bronzer. I use this a lot. I love it. And I'm using a motive stippling brush to apply this. And then just to darken it up and kind of contour some areas of my face, like my under my chin and my cheeks, which don't really need it, and my forehead, I'm going to use Benefits Hula Bronzer with a... I don't know what brush this is, sorry. I'm also going to contour my nose a little bit with that same bronzer and a Dose of Colors brush. I love this brush to do this. And I just, mainly because I have like a little bump on the tip of my nose, on the bridge of my nose, which drives me crazy. I hate it. And then I blended, make sure all the lines were blended out with the Sigma Beauty Sponge. And then for blush, I took um, Benefit Rocketeer Blush with a blush brush to apply to my cheeks. A broken heart that was already shattered Holding on to what we have to take us to the end 
And then moving on to highlighter, I'm taking this Pixie Mist, which I put the curling iron on on the back and it now um, spills out. <laughs> I took Anastasia's, I sprayed that mist over my face first and then I applied Anastasia's Starlight Powder Highlighter over that with the Sigma Beauty Sponge. And then over that, and just to set everything, I applied Gerard Cosmetics Setting Spray and I hate, hate, hate picking out a lip color because I just feel like it's so hard. I wanted something pink at first, but then after trying it out, it just didn't look right. So I just ended up using the Marc Jacobs um, Slow Burn lipstick just because it was on my, my desk and I really like these formulas. I lost the Fawn Over Me one, which is my favorite. To what we have, you take us to the edge of life. 